Now to our winter-like weather, a new round of rain and snow headed our way, and it may be here by morning. Hardly the best weather for baseball, as you know, the Sox home openers tomorrow afternoon. Meteorologist Cheryl Scott tracking the... Under seven max, not detecting any precipitation at this moment, so a quick little break here overnight before more wintry weather moves in. Now, temps certainly cool, unseasonably cold. We sit in the upper 30s to low 40s. We'll continue to drop off overnight, currently sitting under partly to mostly cloudy skies, but the clouds will continue to thicken overnight, and we are tracking the next round of rain and snow. So when will this move in? It does appear that it's moving a little bit slower, which would be good news for that morning commute, but anywhere between 7 and 9 a.m., some snow showers mixed with some rain beginning to move through. And you can see here at 10 a.m., again, just like this morning, rain, snow, and some grapple, those ice pellets that we saw today. As we head into the afternoon, a little bit of a break, some scattered shower activity around 3 o'clock for that Sox game. But then another round of snow moves in late tomorrow night. This is scattered snow. We're not expecting a lot of accumulating snow out of this, but it's going to be a wintry uncomfortably cold day. Temps here in the 30s with wind chills. Game time for the Sox opener between 25 to 30 degrees, Kathy. Baseball weather and our morning team. The story this news reporter Liz Nagy is here with the story. Liz. Alan police say that firefighter was leaving the home opening game for the Milwaukee Brewers where they say he'd been drinking. That's when police say he hit a minivan and another car before crashing into a wall, killing a Chicago man and his Uber driver. This minivan told be dearly missed. And records show this is not the Milwaukee firefighter's first alcohol-related arrest. Alan and Kathy, in 2014, he was convicted of operating a firearm while intoxicated. Okay. All right, Liz, thank you. Now an ABC 7 exclusive. New here at 10 tonight, autopsy results confirming the grisly scene inside a Gage Park home where six members of the same family were murdered. The autopsy is President Obama in Los Angeles tonight after a quick trip to Chicago. He came home today to make his case for his U.S. Supreme Court justice nominee. Eyewitness News anchor Show Burton joining us tonight with more on today's events. Kathy, the president used the University of Chicago as his backdrop to push for Supreme Court nominee Merrick Garland. The president wants a constitutional law professor at UFC taking questions from law students and again imploring the Senate to hold hearings. He the fall. And Senate Republicans have vowed not to hold a hearing or a vote until a new president is elected. Senator Mark Kirk is one of the only few Republicans who have met with Garland. Kirk saying today he got a personal thank you letter from the president for doing so. Kathy and Allen. All right, Cheryl. Some okay. scary moments for people. Two men taken to the hospital. Shooting hoops, not guns, is the idea behind a new campaign to mend relationships between some students and Chicago police. Eyewitness News reporter Will Jones has the play-by-play. -play. New attend Uber paying $10 million to settle a lawsuit over driver background checks. Possible break in the case of a University of Texas student who was killed on campus. Tonight, the not-for-profit retail shop serving tens of thousands of people in Schaumburg is going to have to close in June. The Kenneth Young crowd watchers. Stepping way too much fun there. Wow. That was strange. Almost as strange as our weather today. What is going on out what there? What is going on? Trying to find spring. It's on a break right now. We will eventually get to some warmer temps, but really not until after this weekend. We'll get some sunshine as well on this weekend, but not for the day tomorrow. Boy, we are tracking this wintry weather. Tomorrow is going to be another. Right now we're in a break from any rain or snow. So moisture free, a few clouds out there. Temperatures right now, upper 30s to low 40s. We are feeling the chill, unseasonably cold conditions, and that continues overnight and into the start of tomorrow. Now, satellite and radar combined, we are mostly cloudy. A few breaks in the clouds, but watch what happens here. Overnight clouds on the increase, and then tomorrow morning, anywhere between about 7 and 9 a.m., a few snow showers beginning to push their way through. So remember what was happening earlier today? A carbon copy of that. Some rain, some snow. Can't rule out even some convective snow showers tomorrow with some grapple, those ice pellets mixed in. This is tomorrow at 10:15. You can see the moisture streaming through, so wintry conditions. Then we'll have a little bit of a break tomorrow afternoon. Here we go into tomorrow night. Another round of some snow moving in. By Saturday, we'll get the snow showers activity out of here. But if you are planning to head to the cell, you will need a lot of layers. The home opener tomorrow, temps will be near 40 degrees. Very windy, gusts up to 30 to 35 miles per hour. That will create wind chills anywhere from 25 
to 30 degrees, not baseball weather whatsoever. So well below average, the average high is 56 degrees, and today we only hit 41. So let's talk about this. Lots of activity across the Great Lakes. We're in a little bit of a break, but that cold air continuing to crash on it. It's not just here. Everyone across the upper Midwest, the Great Lakes, the Ohio Valley feeling the chill. This area of low pressure back towards the north and west bringing us another a reinforcing shot of this cold air into the day tomorrow and some unsettled weather conditions. So overnight into tomorrow morning, we talked about it, more rain and snow showers during the morning and the afternoon. Then the activity will slide east. We'll get a little bit of a break and then more snow showers as we head into tomorrow night as well as the windy conditions. So it's going to just be a frigid, wintry day for us. Snowcast showing little to no snow accumulation, which is good, but a dusting up to a half an inch, not out of the question. And then another big part of tomorrow will be our wind, gusting up to 25 to 30 miles per hour, creating wind chills near 30 degrees all day long. Pack your patience. We'll get some spring weather soon. Tonight, low to mid-30s under mostly cloudy skies, staying cold. Tomorrow, high consecutive days of sunshine. We are getting there. Better? We want it. Yeah. All right, Cheryl, thanks so much. Thanks. Chicago's Mazarin of Jenner and Block, and Kathy was there to serve as the MC tonight. Oh, it's such a great event. Still here tonight at 10. The hunt for a man who carjacked a woman in the Netherlands. Chicago police looking for the man who opened fire on a party bus. He wounded five people. It happened over $300,000. The Black Woman's Expo Phenomenal Women Awards reception held tonight. The new She Matters Awards presented posthumously to Sandra Bland, the suburban native the Texas authorities say hanged herself in a Texas jail. Her mother accepted the honor. ABC 7's Karen Jordan was tonight's MC. A CT. Ooh, Blackhawks against the Blues. This is always a good matchup. The Hawks are now the third seed. They're either yeah. going to be at yeah. Dallas or at St. Louis to open the playoffs. This is crazy. Hawks in the big un. That's how I play. I don't even, yeah, me too. That's how I play. I don't even want to watch it again. <laughs> it's horrible. Still to come here tonight. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's it for us here tonight. Thank you for joining us. Jimmy Kimmel coming up next with presidential candidate Ted Cruz. And don't forget, you can always find us on our website, abc7chicago.com. Have a great night. Thanks for stopping by.